Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and and um, just to get just to get started, well, Merry Christmas everyone, um, and um, but I'm kind of on to the music here. I now I was thinking about playing Christmas music, but one, I already hear the shit at work every day, like during the holidays every year at my job. So, and as as bah humbug as bah humbuggy as that might sound. It's just, I don't really want to hear it. I don't want to hear it here. And secondly, I'm pretty sure if I did, this video would be copyright claimed by YouTube for playing copyrighted music. So, anyways. And I did, um, I did look at a, I did look through, I did look at a few other YouTube channels uh, for uh, lo-fi Christmas music. I didn't see, I didn't see anything on there about, about the music being copyrighted or that it was copyright free. So I figured it'd be best to err on the side of caution. Just hold on. Doing something right. Okay, there we go. I had to plug my controller back in. But anyway, so I figured it'd be better to err on the side of caution and just not play it at all. So, but instead, um, what I'm gonna play is a uh, Comfy Wizard, when hobbits and gnomes unite. Um, and Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Pause. So anyway, um, and the Pipe Smoking Hobbit Band, um, I, for what it's worth, I don't smoke. I can't stand the smell of that shit. I mean, some people love the smell of cigars and marijuana, whereas they smell better than cigarettes do, but it, no, no. Let's see, yeah, I mean, like I, but, yeah, but like I, like I said, cigars and pot smell a little better than cigarettes, but not by much. I just as soon as people keep the shit away from me, not being a snob either or anything like that, it's just I don't, I can't stand this shit. So, so what I'm, what I'm getting at is, I'm only picking this. Um, it looked kind of gnomish, it looked kind of Christmassy, you know, you got gnomes and hobbits and whatnot. So, and it's gonna be. It's going to be kind of in keeping with uh, what I'm going to be talking about here in a little bit. So, so but I, and, and that, because and I couldn't I couldn't find anything um, Christmassy to play, so I went with this instead. So. But yeah, once again, um, just Merry Christmas, everybody. And, um... Hope you guys hope you guys are doing what you want to do. Um, and as far as whether and for those that are curious, as far as whether or not I'll be streaming today, it's still gonna be very up in the air. Um, I think if I do if I do stream, um, it's it, there's a chance that it might be a short one because I might come into I might come into work tonight. There, whether or not I come in is excuse me, whether or not I come in is totally optional. So, so technically, I am off tonight, but like I said, I can come in if I want to get my hours, because if I don't, I'm a day short, so. Um, otherwise, uh, I played a lot of Gems of War, so. That's where I that's where I spent most of my night. Um, we have a special gnome event. It's gonna go on through uh, through this weekend. Just um, more more gnomes appear in battles. And uh, for those that don't know, um, gnomes whenever you kill them, uh, they they drop more loot, and and sometimes they drop special loot that you can't get anywhere else. So, and I gotta I gotta turn this down. turn away down whoops okay but anyway so so yeah there's so yeah it's gonna be pretty so it's basically gonna be a gems of war weekend for me now I'm not gonna be playing like the full 24 7 or anything like that but a good chunk of my time is just it's it's basically basically gonna be quantity over quality 
because the way drop rates, I mean, drop rates for the most part work differently in Gems of War than they do in a lot of other games. Um, in most other games, basically, the harder the content you clear, the better the items you get. In this game here, um, a good chunk, your some of the loot and whatnot, some of the loot, XP, etc. Um, you're going to get the same exact amount no matter what kind of content you do. So it's it's a flat percentage chance across all game modes. So that so and that that includes the uh, uh, chances for uh, gnomes appearing in battles. I believe the uh, appearance rate is exactly the same no matter what content you do. So, but otherwise, um, just pretty much spent the whole, spent the whole, spent most of the night just, and already I screwed up. Alright, anyway, um, but I just started doing like, uh, difficulty one, it's like super low level content, um, you can... You know, you can win the battles in like one or two turns. Did that for a while until eventually I got bored with it. Um, decided to shift gears and I did a difficulty 12 content where the stuff is like much harder, much tougher. Um, did that for a while and eventually I got burned out on it. So then after that I went to, I went to where my, for lack of a better phrase, my comfort zone. Uh, PvP, especially the high tier PvP, um, just went out, just went there, went there, did some of it, and by the time I got through, um, the dailies had reset, so I just did, uh, I did most, on a, I think I did most, if not all of it, so whatever I don't do, I'll, I'll probably do like either later on after this cast or maybe during my stream so and yeah I forgot to say at the start of the stream that there's gonna be some moving parts in this so yeah get ready for some goops Otherwise, one other thing I did, um, I started watching a playthrough of Siphon Filter, the first one, it's a PlayStation game, um, I'm in, oh my god, what a classic this game is, and, um, uh, I used to play the living hell out of it, too. I think, um, I think I used a Game Shark for it. I can't remember. Hold on. Holy shit. <sighs> anyway but yeah like I said I, I played it a ton um I got I, I don't think I beat the game no that's it <sighs> trying to think trying to think I don't if I did it using game shark there were some uh, in-game cheat codes like it unlocked all the, unlocked all the cutscenes, and then you just sit and watch those. Um, I think you can you can unlock weapons. You can also unlock all the scenarios. I think that too. I think that was what I did on on, on that game. But yeah, just watching this uh watching this gameplay movie, it was just a freaking walk down memory lane. Oh God. Yeah, I really miss my PlayStation right now. Um, I had one. I had a, I had a big old CD case full of PlayStation games, probably at least a hundred. But since uh, you know, if only I knew that what I know now. But I um, I just I let um, I let my cousin. This is when I first moved up to Minnesota from Oklahoma. Um, I lent my cousin all my PlayStation games because he had a PlayStation too. So, uh, since I wasn't really playing them anymore because I was so burnt, I was so burnt out from playing them so much, um, his house caught fire, 
like his whole his whole house burned to the ground, including my PlayStation games. So yeah, that sucked. But yeah, but like I said, if only I knew then what I know now, I would I would have kept them. Held on to them suckers. But uh, I still got a whole bunch of uh, PlayStation 2 games, though. I have in like one or two of my banana boxes. Um, but the PlayStation 2 I have no longer works. It no longer reads CDs. And it was right about this time that, uh... Um... I... Okay, I'm, I'm kind of racking my brain here. I moved in my apartment about 12 years ago. I think I was still playing my PlayStation 2. I think... Oh God, I'm trying to remember. Cause I'm, I think I still. No, I don't think I was. Um, yeah, I brought my PlayStation 2 with me, and play, I think I played it for a while. But eventually, the it would no longer read CDs. But I think around this time, I started playing PC games, so I just didn't really need my PS2 anymore. So. Yeah, good thing I held on to my PS2 games. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not even gonna try to sell them either. I mean, even if I, even if I was absolutely flat broke, I mean, because even if I did try to sell them, I probably would get maybe twenty bucks or something like that. You know, not even deadly squat. I um. Uh, Back now that I just remember too, back in the late 80s, early 90s, probably uh, somewhere around there, one of my bosses was really into Dungeons and Dragons, as I was. <clears throat> I, I never played it though, but I was just into the books, the dice, the mechanics of, of it all. And um, one of my, again, one of my bosses at the time was really into the game. He uh, gave me, I think, I think it was either one or two duffel bags full of D&D uh, &D books and modules like dungeon modules and um I was broke at the time just barely having enough to make rent and not much more so I thought you know since you know since these D&D &D books are so rare and I didn't really read them so I didn't really need them um just decided to go ahead and sell them at the game shop I think I got maybe $16 for all of it yeah for for the whole duffel bag full of old rare D&D &D books oh my god I'm Sometimes I'm still kicking myself for doing that. So yeah, with these, with the PlayStation 2 games I got, I'm not making that mistake twice. So. <clears throat> um, but, but otherwise, um, otherwise, yay, um, that. Speak English, Joe. Um, anyway, um, I will guess that's going to do it for me. I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So, so yeah. Um, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, now, again, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be working tonight or not. I guess it's probably also going to depend on whether or not my family want you know wants to, want to, wants to have another get together or something, even though I don't think that's going to happen because we had our Christmas dinner a couple weeks ago, so I'm under the impression that they're not doing anything this Christmas. So, but again, I don't. We'll, we'll see. But if I am off tonight, then or if I don't work tonight, then you'll then you'll probably uh you'll probably hear from me again tomorrow morning. So, but. Until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now. Oh, and Merry Christmas.